Sometimes starring in a big Hollywood production can come with a cost. I didn't even know that was possible. Actors and actresses pride themselves in their commitment to their roles, but sometimes that commitment can lead to endangering their bodies. In fact, there has been more than a few times where stars were left with permanent damages on their body, whether it be from stunts, prosthetics, or a freak accident. As soon as we wrapped, I went straight to the hospital. Katniss Everdeen has had to be brave through countless treacherous situations, leaving her with countless bumps and bruises over the course of the Hunger Games saga. That unfortunately rubbed off on Jennifer Lawrence while filming the second film, Catching Fire. The beachside setting of the titular event in the film required Lawrence to do a lot of diving, which led to her going deaf in one ear, along with frequently getting various ear infections for months after filming. A jet from one of the cornucopia scenes punctured my eardrum. Angelina has already proven to be a top-notch action star by performing her own stunts in films like Maleficent and Lara Croft Tomb Raider. While filming what Jolie described as a ridiculously easy stunt on set of the action thriller Salt, Jolie was required to roll onto the floor. Jolie ended up misjudging the amount of space she had and hit her head hard against a desk. While the injury wasn't as severe as she feared, it did leave her with a permanent scar right above her nose. While performing a stunt on top of a vehicle in a harness on set of the third and final Maze Runner movie, O'Brien fell off and was hit by another vehicle. The severe injury caused production to shut down and O'Brien to be hospitalized, with the right side of his face being almost entirely broken. I have four plates that will be a part of me forever. I feel really lucky to have come away from it in terms of coming away from it at all on the day, and really how my face was healed. Because of the severity of the incident, O'Brien was cautious. There was a time where I didn't know if I would ever do it again, and that thought scared me too. I don't pretend to be something I'm not because what you see is all you get. In order to portray the tele-evangelist Tammy Faye, who was widely known for her heavy use of makeup, star Jessica Chastain, who you may know as the adult version of Bev Marsh in It Chapter 2, had to put on plenty of prosthetics and makeup in order to accurately portray Faye. The makeup work was so excessively heavy that it caused permanent damage to Chastain's skin. But it's heavy, and when you're wearing it all day every day, the weight of it on your body, it stretches your skin out. I finally took it off and I was like, I look 50 years old. On set of the Marvel sequel Thor The Dark World, Jamie Alexander, who plays the mighty Lady Sif, slipped from a high area, herniated a disc, and dislocated her left shoulder, among other severe injuries. Initially, Alexander thought that she was going to be okay, but after sitting down in a car the next day, she compressed her spine and went paralyzed in her right and left leg. Alexander ended up having to go through physical therapy in order to go back onto set. She even had more injuries on set of her TV show, Blind Spot, but the damages to her body never dissuaded her from continuing to dominate the screen as an action star. For some reason, keep breaking the left side of my foot, and I don't, six times in a row. Charlize Theron became pretty invested in her role as the evil queen in Snow White and the Huntsman. Theron was required to do a lot of screaming on set. Where is she? She is the evil queen after all, but she did get a bit carried away. I did enjoy just screaming at people. I screamed so much at people, I tore a stomach muscle, which I had never heard of before. Rachel Brosnahan has earned rave reviews and has won multiple awards for her starring role in the hit series The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. What's surprising is that the show has had an effect on Brosnahan's body, particularly from wearing a corset on set all the time. We talk so fast on the show that to get all the words out, you can't really take very many breaths. And I think I wasn't breathing a lot and I was a bit constrained and apparently some of my ribs are sort of fused together. I can't take super deep breaths anymore. Ryan Reynolds loves to joke about his role in the film Green Lantern, but he ended up with some battle wounds from the set of the superhero film. Reynolds was in dire pain most of the film after he separated his shoulder while filming, though this didn't stop Reynolds from donning the red and black suit as Deadpool just five years later. Oh, oh God, that hurts. During the filming of her action thriller, The Rhythm Section, Blake Lively shattered her right hand while performing a stunt. Initially, Lively and the crew behind the film did not think that the injury was too serious, but she ended up having to go through surgery to fix the issue. When the initial surgery was not enough, Lively had to go through even more surgeries to fix her broken hand. It took months of recovery for Lively before she was able to use her broken hand again, which led her to take a break from filming. 
and so there is no cutting out of it. There are no stunt doubles, there's nothing. So I'm really experiencing it as the actor. While Tom Hanks' role as a gay man suffering from AIDS in Philadelphia won him his first Oscar, and his role as a strandee in Castaway was beloved by many, it did have a negative effect on his health. The constant shifts in his weight, as well as possibly being genetically inclined, led Hanks to believe that it may have been the cause of his diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. The gaining and the losing of weight may have had something to do with it, because you eat so much bad food and you don't take any exercise when you're heavy. While filming the period action film The Eagle, star Channing Tatum, known for hit films like Step Up and 21 Jump Street, had to trudge through freezing cold waters during multiple scenes. The only way to keep warm was to have a mix of boiling hot water and river water poured down his suit. On the last take, one of the crew members accidentally forgot to mix the boiling hot water with much colder water. Tatum attempted to take the suit off to avoid being burned too badly, but the water ended up going to his nether regions, which led to some permanent and unwanted damage. Some of the stuff that they do on stage is really intense, and if you are having too good of a time, you might get hurt. Jackie Chan is widely known around the world for his commitment to do all of his own stunts in his films, but this led to some battle damage. He's broken multiple bones, dislocated his shoulder on more than a few occasions, sustained concussions, and has suffered through several spine injuries. One particular stunt on the set of his film, Armor of God 2, was perhaps his most serious injuries, which led to permanent consequences. It was actually just a simple stunt, jumping from a slope, but I was seriously injured and had a surgery to my brain. I still have a metal plate in my head and can feel the indentation from the impact. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes! Despite the severity of the injury, Chan was eager to continue doing his own stunts in all of his films. While filming the first season of the CW series Batwoman, star Ruby Rose suffered a neck injury that left her with a Pez dispenser-shaped scar. Rose was told that she would need to have emergency surgery, or else she was at risk of becoming paralyzed. I had herniated two discs doing stunts, and they were close to severing my spinal cord. I was in chronic pain and yet couldn't feel my arms. I'm pretty prone to injury myself. Whenever Daniel Craig does press for a new James Bond film, he always likes to say that he did not know if he would want to return to the role. An injury on the set of his second go-around as 007 may be one of those reasons. While filming the 22nd Bond film, Craig received an unwelcome face injury after a head-on collision during a stunt. Because of the scar, Craig ended up having to go through plastic surgery in order to treat it. I've had my right shoulder reconstructed. I have had... Uh, this left knee operated on, my right knee operated on. Russell Crowe is known to pull off the rough and rugged aesthetic in plenty of his roles, but perhaps Gladiator is his most well-known. While on set of the Best Picture winning Sword and Sandals film, Crowe started to have Achilles tendon problems, as the costume designer did not put any heels in the shoes he wore for the part. He also ended up hurting his shoulder and had to have two operations to fix it. If that was not enough, he now has a disintegrating hip because of the physicality of the role. From broken bones, dislocations, and worn-out muscles, these stars never felt the same after making their respective films. It is all the more impressive that many of them are still willing to let loose in their movies and shows. Thanks for watching.